guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna, and I'm so excited that you're joining me for my summer get ready with me. Okay, so we're doing like a full glam. As you can see, here's my little example. So, um, I'm really excited to just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyes first. So I went ahead and started with my brows. I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. Um, and then I cleaned them up with my Maybelline Dream Illuminator Corrector in the shade Claire. Um, and then I also already used three different products without you guys, but, um, I went in with my Morphe Concealer in the shade C1.15, and I, um, I put that right here on my lid. I have not put any powder on because with the palette I'm going into... It has the perfect um, shade for setting my my eyelid area. So I'm going to go in with the new nude Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Bare. Setting that concealer so it does not crease. And then I'm going to go in with the color or the shade Play. And I'm just going to go in my crease on that one. Now that I've got this shade built up to the desired intensity that I want, I'm going to go in with a bit of a darker color for the crease again. Um, I'm going to go in with Secret. And I'm just going to put it on my outer crease. Um, for the next color, I'm going to go in with the Morphe M30... Or, the Morphe M332. Um, and it's just this kind of like rounded brush, pencil brush maybe. Um, and I'm going to go in with um, the second to darkest color, which is the shade Raw. And I'm just kind of like going to pack it into the palette. So I've got a good amount of product on there and just do the same thing. Pack it on my outer lid while doing blending motions at the same time if that makes any sense whatsoever I'm actually going to bring this color in a little bit as well I know I mentioned this before in one of my past videos but this little thing right here I don't know what it is if it's a scar or like what exactly but it does not like to blend like I don't have it on this side which I'm not even done blending this side, but like, I don't understand what that is. It just makes me look like I don't know how to blend, but it's just my eyelid. I don't know what's wrong, sorry. It literally like bothers me. Like you can see this side is pretty well blended. Like there's no harsh lines. And then you see this and it looks like I've just completely forgot to blend it right there. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but like it's so noticeable to me. What is me? Okay, so next is legit my favorite part. This is my favorite shade out of this entire palette. I'm just like obsessed with it. It is the shade Crave right here. It's just legit heaven. So I like to go in with my finger because I feel like it makes it more intense. And I just put it like roughly on my lid. Like I don't have a certain line or certain order that I go in. Like, it's not like I'm trying to do a cut crease right now. I'm, like, roughly, sparingly putting it on the front part of my lid. And it just, like, it completes the look. It's, like, such a beautiful shade. Like, oh, this, this look. I haven't done a rosy look in what seems like a while, I think. Um, pro tip, baby wipes when you're doing your makeup and skincare. Some of these things can be sticky and obviously if you're putting a glitter on your finger it's going to be a bit messy like baby wipes. The cheapest ones that you can find are the way to go. So there is a tiny bit of fallout with this just as there would be any other highly pigmented glitter which I'm totally okay for because look at that. But anyways that's why I did my eyes first. I do that with any time I think I'm going to be using glitter. So I'm just going to clean that up. And since we're going for a full glam look, I might as well just, like, make this so precise. Like, it's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my face. 
Um, I already did my skincare earlier today, so I'm not going to put any more skincare on right now. But I am going to go in with my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I'm so excited about this because I saw in an Ulta magazine, like, yesterday that it's, like, back in stock. Like, um, it was limited edition, so they took it away, and I couldn't use it in videos because it's, like, I didn't want to use something that isn't available to you guys anymore. So I saw where it is back. I guess it's maybe a summer product. I'm not really sure. But um, I'm so excited. I really, really wanted to use it. I think this is like a dupe for the Milk, the Grip Primer. Um, I've tried both. I actually prefer this one. But um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. This is perfect for summer months when you're sweating and stuff like that because it stays so well. Like, your makeup literally just, like, suction cups to it, but it is just literally heaven as far as keeping your makeup on all day. It does have a bit of a tackiness to it, but that's how the makeup stays on, and as soon as you put your mascara on, like... <laughs> mascara what your foundation on then it's like that completely goes away but it's just like Ooh. okay please don't judge me on my choice of foundation but um i am like completely out of the shade that matches me at the moment so i'm having to mix two different foundations together um this one was actually my mom's and she wasn't a huge fan of it. She stopped wearing makeup when quarantine happened, so she gave it to me. Um, I am actually a really big fan of it. Obviously, I do not match this color right now. It's only when I'm self-tanned. And I'm somewhere in between like self-tanned and like my normal pale self right now. So I'm not tan enough to wear this, but I'm not light enough to wear this one. Um, with all honesty, I'm not really a huge fan of this foundation, but I wanted to give it a go and just one more time before I just like decide I really just am not a fan of it. Um, who knows? I don't know. I don't know if maybe the color was just a tad bit off for me or what, but I'm going to be mixing the two, so I don't know if that's really a fair shot to see if I like this one or not, but I figured um, I don't have another color, so why not just try it and see how it goes. So, by the way, I don't know. I don't think you can read it for me going like this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Um, it is in the shade 100 in, which again I don't, I don't really know. It's been a while since I've tried this. And then this is the Bye Bye, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. It's the full coverage moisturizer one, um, the one with SPF 50. So I like this one. Um, I'm a fan of it. Especially for beach days and stuff like that, it's really nice. But, oh, one thing about this, I don't know if it was just mine, but like every time I push it down, it like, it stays down and I have to manually pull it back up to pump it again. I'm not sure if that was just like an error in the packaging, just on mine, or if it's just like kind of faulty in general. You, you guys know I have to keep it on this week. Keep it honest with you. Keep it real with you. Speaking of um, Anastasia foundation or er, Anastasia, I really need a new highlighter palette. I have one from Legit 2016. Yeah, yeah, it's old, but it's like still my favorite. I use it occasionally, but then I feel bad because it's like I'm using a 2016 highlighter. Is that bad? But it's just, um, they make awesome highlighter products. Obviously, my brow pencil, I'm obsessed with it. Um, I just, just don't know about the foundation. So, I'm assuming this is my color. If it's not, oh well. So, like, it seems really full coverage. I can definitely, definitely smell, like, the lemon scent from the It one. So, it's honestly like a straight-up combination of the two. I see, um, honestly like a little bit of both and on my face from these two different foundations. Overall, it really does not look that bad, the combination of the two. Again, this isn't like a full review of it or something because like, I literally like, it's biased because it's mixed with a different product. But, I don't know, I just thought it was interesting to try. Um, I could have done it off camera, but like, 
I'm gonna be real with y'all, like sometimes you just don't have a shade that matches and you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, moving on to concealer, I'm going in with that Morphe one that I used on my eyelid in the shade C1.15. I almost put it on my eyelid, what? I'm so used to doing that because I'm not used to doing my eyes first. But I'm just gonna put it um, in the little TikTok thing. Like that. I'm gonna go with my beauty blender again. Do not judge how dirty my products are. I really actually need a new one, which is why I haven't cleaned this one because I plan on getting a new one like very, very soon. Comment down below, but is it just me that like my nose runs? And I'm like, right after I do my foundation, and it's like, like right after. I don't know if it's because I'm like messing with it and like bouncing around it or what, but. I get like the worst like just runny nose right after I do my foundation which is the worst time. I used to um, actually sneeze every time that I would do my mascara like right after and it would just leave this like whole thing of black right after I did it. That was a heartbreaking time in life. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder um, in Translucent Extra Coverage. The extra coverage part is so important because it literally like blurs anything. It makes, I feel like it makes my under eyes look like I have like an Instagram filter on because it's just that literally amazing. Obsessed with it. Like it makes me look like I don't even have any imperfections right here because I have like so much like texture and pores like I don't know it's just great okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my eyeliner I'm using the immovable by Mia Adora waterproof eyeliner pencil my favorite one ever you can get it on Amazon it's just literally so amazing and affordable but it's literally so waterproof like I have such a hard time finding eyeliners that like don't leak this one just doesn't do that at all it's just amazing so I like to go on my waterline and then my top waterline I'm gonna be wearing lashes so I'm going to put it on top of my eyelid like I would like a regular liquid eyeliner too. And honestly, I'm a little bit rough when I do it because, or not like rough, but like messy. Like it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just going to be putting on like eyelashes over it and you honestly can't tell if the line is not super straight. So I don't stress myself out about it. Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is the perfect one for when I'm wearing eyelash or like false eyelashes. Works perfect. Grips onto the lashes just perfectly. So, Okay, so while my mascara dries, I'm going to go in with my face powder products. Um, I'm going to start with my Tarte um, Park Ave Princess Bronzer. The, it's the Amazonian um, Clay Waterproof Bronzer. I'm going to contour my nose with the same bronzer. So now I'm going to go in with my blush. I'm using the Ciate London, the Marbled Light Brush, Blush in Dusk. That's what it looks like. So pretty. It's just like the perfect rosy, summery pink. I'm going to go in with a highlighter. I'm going in with my Ofra palette. Um, shade Rodeo Drive. Oh, so pretty. And for my nose contour, I'm going in with a smaller, dense brush. Kind of like the one I use to contour my nose. And then I'm just going to go down the middle. And then at the bottom. Like that. And then put some in my eye corner. And up underneath my brows. Okay guys, I think this concludes the video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this makeup look and I hope that you joined along with me to get your summer glowy glow up.
Full Glam. As always, all the products I mentioned and used will be in the description box. And also, my Instagram and my other handles, my link tree, that leads you to all the links you need as far as like my handles and stuff like that. Um, so be sure to check that out. Don't forget to leave it a like and a subscribe if you really enjoyed this video. Alright, I love you guys. Bye! Okay guys, I think that concludes this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. In the shade C1.15. I almost put it on my eyelid. What?